Good morning, everyone. Alice here. Uh, surprise. Uh, it's time for my newsletter. I only have today. I've been very busy, thanks to many of you. And if this is your first time getting my newsletter, this is brand new for all of us, including me. Many people have said they would love to have videos or hear my voice. And my husband said last night, why don't you do a video? So we'll see how this goes. Conscious Living, Conscious Living Newsletter. Well, I think that speaks for what I feel about my work. I would wish that all of us would live consciously. And what does that mean? I think that means that on a daily basis, we, we make choices without doing them on the spur of the moment or by routine, either way. But being conscious about the choices that we do make. And um, sometimes it feels like we're living in black and white. And what do I mean about that? Think about uh, photographs. Um, uh, black and white, a lot of times I like black and white photographs. And it gives us depth of perception. Um, it can make us focus on certain objects. Um, so many times I like having black and white photographs. But in relationship to living, and that's what I wanted to talk about today, was how to live in living color. And I certainly do that, and uh, mainly because of many of you. Uh, as you know, I lost my daughter at birth, and that really put me into a dark place, as many of you have been, that when we have trauma or we have uh, a very difficult period of time, we call that being in darkness. Now, as with the photograph, those dark times can give us depth. They can give us, of course, pain. But life is about perception, how we view the things that happen to us, for us, and our perceptions about ourselves. So I would say that that period of time really did make rough around the edges for me. I uh, became ill. Uh, my husband and I did not do well. And of course, I went through despair. But on the other side, just like when night falls, the sun always comes up. And when the sun comes up, the light shines and you can see all the color. So out of a dark experience, when you find hope again, when you find a morsel of joy, the light really shows through. Now, how do we find a life, whether you've had tragedy or not, if, if you feel like you're living a life in black and white, how do you find a new way of living, a more colorful way of living? I think for me, what I did was I wanted to be happy again. And how did I go about that? Well, I think I sat down and asked questions. I ask questions of myself, the universe or God, and then would sit and wait for answers. Answers in my head, answers that would show up in life. And then 
I had to make choices from what I received. So, what are some of the questions that you can ask? What is my mission in life? I don't care how old you are. Have you done what you feel like is your mission? Each of us has something to do why we're here. And sometimes we accomplish that and sometimes we don't. It doesn't have to be anything big. But ask yourself, am I happy doing what I'm doing? Do I wake up feeling like I want to get on with life? And then ask questions about, does this seem right for me? Do I need to take more risks so that life can be more full and beautiful? In taking risks, we really do jump from the black and white into the color. And risks are whatever it means for you, whether it's moving, doing a new job. But also ask yourself, what is it that I have not done? What is it that I have always dreamed of doing but have lost my dream? Maybe five years ago you had a dream, or 20 years ago, or as a child had a dream, and it's never been accomplished. Ask yourself these questions. Then sit and listen. Listen inside here, inside here, and look at your life. After you've asked the questions, is life giving you the answers. You will be given answers if you look for them and if you're patient. But we're all here to live a full and colorful life. I hope you enjoyed this today and you have a wonderful day and wow we're gonna welcome in June. I love summertime in my yard and I just love summertime. I love all of you, and I hold hope for each and every one of you.